92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. Sometimes surprises can be a good thing on a first date, like surprise flowers, oh. surprise yeah. thumb, what? What the surprise <laughs> no pants. That's not Those are good thing. surprises I'm, on a first date. I'm still you know? thinking about the phone. I'm and on to the pants. <laughs> Michael, who is on the phone for a second date update today, he planned a surprise for his first date, but he thinks that's the reason he's not getting a call back. In his email, he said he thinks his surprise backfired. Uh-oh. So I don't even know what his surprise was yet. Probably wasn't a thumb because he'd be getting a call back. <laughs> so, Michael, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Not too bad. <laughs> Before we find out what your surprise was and why you think it backfired on you, what's the name of the girl you want to call today? Her name's Veronica. Veronica. All right. And how did you meet Veronica? I met her on a blind date. Okay. So you planned a surprise for a blind date. Isn't the blind date in and of itself already a surprise? <laughs> it was, but my friend had told me that she likes cats and I have four of them. So I figured, Whoa. why not bring them along? All of them? They're bringing Wait, you four cats along what? on the date? <laughs> well, why not? She said they like cats. So I'm like, okay, she oh, likes no. cats. Hold up. How do you even do that? Do you put them on leashes? What are the logistics of bringing four yeah. cats on a date? Throw them in a duffel bag? Well, I just, I put them in their cages and then brought them in the car and then open up the cages and I kind of let them roam free. I mean, they're, you know, they're pretty well. What oh was my her, God. What was her reaction to all this? Oh, I mean, she was happy. I guess she was happy. She's like, oh, you have your cats here. And I'm like, yeah, you like cats? She's like, yeah. So, huh. you know, I, I assumed everything was good. So she wasn't. She, she didn't. I, she, she wasn't was confused <laughs> by the fact that you picked her up with a bunch of cats in your car. She liked it. Well, she was surprised by that, but I think it was a good surprise until everything backfired. How oh. did it? Wait, how oh. did it backfire? Well, Herbie got sick. I mean, oh. he's got hairballs. I mean, this just happens. He's always hawking things. Uh-huh. So Herbie <laughs> just had a little accident. As he does, Herbie does. And yeah, I mean, when you're driving and a cat has an accident in the back seat, you really can't fix it up exactly at that moment. So it was kind of smelly, but I opened the windows. That is so gross. Okay, so now you're on your blind date. You showed up with surprise cats, (laughs) and one of the cats puked in the back seat. So you're driving around, and the car now smells like cat puke. Yep, something like that. But I opened the windows, like I said. Did she ask to, I mean, did she ask to go home right then? No, not at that point. She didn't ask to go home, but we kept on going while Herbie was, you know, violently sick in the back seat. What did you do? Just leave a puking cat in your back seat while you went inside an ace? It's in a cage, Brooke. Oh, no, no. The good news is he stopped puking by the time we got to the restaurant. So once we, you know, got out of the car, I rolled down the windows a little bit, gave them some air, and, uh, yeah, they were they were having a good time. Okay. <laughs> so how was dinner then? Dinner was uh, dinner was good. Uh, <laughs> she was a little standoffish. I mean, she seemed to you know kind of be genuinely concerned about the cats. Okay, <laughs> that seems like a good sign that she was generally concerned about the cats. Because I'm not gonna lie, if I was in her position, I probably would have been done with the cats and you at that point. Oh. Well, the cats, you know, they're number one in my life. So her concern was great, but by the sixth or seventh time she was mentioning them, so we, we kind of sped through dinner a little quickly, mm-hmm. and, you know, we made our way back outside because you know, she wanted to make sure that the cats were okay. Mm-hmm. okay. So by the time we, uh, we got to the car and everything, you know, I looked inside. They were okay. They were, you know, wagging their tails. You know, Herbie <laughs> was sleeping. You know, he had a little bit of spittle still on his mouth, but he was okay. okay. Oh, gross. <laughs> you know, I opened the door to let her in, and she's just like, no, no, the smell is too bad for me, and I'm just going to have to call an Uber. And oh. I was just like, why? And then she's like, no, it's just, I got to go. And then she just walked away, and th- that's the last I really saw of her. Yeah, that's not a the good last sign. thing you saw uh-huh. was just her getting in an Uber and leaving. Yeah, that was the last thing I saw, and Herbie was really sad. I mean, I looked over at him, and he, he seemed sadder than usual. Well, he should be. Oh, he ruined your date, you know? <laughs> well, Herbie didn't ruin my date. I mean, it's not his fault. I don't want to blame him. Okay, yeah, yeah he might be listening. Point. I don't want to hurt his feelings. Um, <laughs> Do you, so, I mean, have you tried texting her since? Have you tried to talk to her? 
I did. I, I sent her a few text messages, used a lot of cat emojis. Oh, no. But she <laughs> she didn't respond or anything. She didn't even ask how Herbie was doing. Okay, I'm going to tell oh, you, wow. Rude. you need to slow down on the cat stuff. I mean, <laughs> just for your own dating life. Yeah, you kind of took because something you, and ran you, with it. You sound really kind, really sweet, and I bet you have great conversation. I mean, you know she's not calling you back because of the cats, right? We understand that. <laughs> well, you know, you don't know that for a fact, and... I believe in my heart those are the ones that are meant to be with me. I'm supposed to be paired with them. Aww. So I need somebody in my life who understands my cats. Okay, well, we'll find out <laughs> oh, if man. she understands your cats. Because uh-huh. we'll, we'll play a song, we'll come back, and we'll call her and get your second date update, okay? Okay. All right, hang on. <laughs> yeah. 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. This is normally the time I try to think of something crazy to make up about the first date yeah. that a couple went on, but today I don't really need to because the first date was weird enough. I don't have to be weird about it, which is nice. <laughs> if you're just joining us for today's second date update, Michael is on the phone and he wants to call a girl named Veronica. He was set up on a blind date. He showed up to pick her up and he brought along his cats because he heard that she liked cats. So he brought four of his cats in the car. Four. And... Yeah. <laughs> I guess at first that was okay, but then one of his cats started puking everywhere on the way to dinner, and the car smelled so bad that she said she was just going to grab an Uber, and she left, and he hasn't heard from her since. All right, Michael, are you ready to give her a call and find out if it was the cats that ruined the date? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I was I was thinking it's it really was kind of my fault. Uh-huh. I forgot to give Herbie his travel medicine. Oh. And I was I was actually thinking it over from the last time, and I was like, if I just given him the travel medicine, it's just, I wouldn't even be reaching out to you guys right now. I'd probably be on a second date with her right now. Probably, <laughs> yeah. So the regret isn't the surprise cats, it's the lack of medication for Herbie. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Herbie. Lesson learned the next time you take uh-huh. your cats along on a first date, make sure they're properly medicated. No, just don't bring the cats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we should be learning. Yeah, I know. I love my kitties, but I'll I'll keep that in mind for next time. Well, yeah, you should. You should always remember that. All right. Well, I'm going to dial her phone number right now. You ready? Oh, sure. Okay. Here we go. Hello? Hi. Can I speak to Veronica? This is she. Hey, Veronica. How are you? This is Jubal from the radio show Brooke and Jubal in the morning. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, Veronica. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm a little confused why you're calling. Okay, well, let me clear that up for you. We do a segment on our show called The Second Date Update. That's where if you go out on a date with somebody and then end up not calling them back after, they can email us to get you on the phone and find out what happened. Okay. Okay, and we got an email from a guy named Michael. Uh, Michael. Mm-hmm. You and have he told to. us all about your date. Very memorable. Well, the cat guy? Yep. <laughs> he told us about your date. He said that he brought along his cats, and it was unfortunate because one of them got sick and just it made the whole thing kind of disgusting. And he also said that you're not getting back to him, and he would love to see you again. So we're on the phone asking you if it was the cats that ruined your date. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the cat thing was strange. I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know how much you know. I'll tell you what he told us. He said um, that it was like a blind date and he heard that you liked cats so he thought he would bring along four of his cats <laughs> and then on the way there one of them got sick and you guys went to dinner and then came out to the car and the car stunk really badly so you decided to just leave in an Uber. Oh, uh, you know more than I thought you might. Yeah, and- I mean normally people probably wouldn't own up to taking their cats along on a first date, but he yeah. did, so... Very honest. Yeah, and he told us pretty well, much everything. Honestly, we told him, like, we thought it... I mean, I thought it was shocking that you even made it to dinner. <laughs> you know, I thought it was a sweet gesture. Yeah. I mean, it's a first date. It was a blind date, so yeah. it's not like I'm going to show up to this random guy's apartment. And, you know, he obviously wanted to share a part of who he was. Okay. And he's part cat. So- <laughs> So what, what, cat. what was your first thought when you got into the car and there was four cats in there? Well, I mean, I can't say I wasn't a little bit surprised. I mean, it's not every day you get into a cat car. Yeah. I mean, I got to be honest, they were pretty well behaved 
at first, I mean, the puking thing, that was definitely uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what to say. I don't want to sound mean. He's just a different kind of guy. Right. He's half man, half cat. Yeah. <laughs> of course, he's going to be a little different. Yeah, you have no idea. Uh, okay. It didn't, really, it didn't really stop with him just bringing his cats alone. Oh, no. For starters, he was super excited to play his ringtone for me, which was the theme song to Disney's Aristocat. Mm. <laughs> it is cute. a catchy tune, though. That's cute. Everybody wants to be a cat. <laughs> That's the one. Oh, okay, so he has that as his ringtone. <laughs> Makes sense. Fitting. Makes sense. Yeah. We're talking about him, for sure. It was just a little awkward sitting in the restaurant with him playing the song and singing along at volume. It was embarrassing, to say the least. Okay. I feel like that's got to be the least shocking thing, though. I mean, if a guy shows up with four random cats in his car, you're going to expect him to be really into cats. Yeah. Well, yes, he's into cats. He's super into his cats in particular. But things got worse. Over dinner, hmm. he started, like, trying to groom himself like a cat. Shut up. No. Was like he how? Like... As a joke? I don't know if it was a joke, but he <laughs> would lick the back of his hand and, like, rub it on his brow <laughs> and his temple, like, okay. over and over. That had to be a joke. Weird. He must have been joking around no with you. does that. I, I don't know. I mean, like, while I was speaking, he just... He's doing this, just staring intently in my eyes. And, you know, like a hair would fall out of place on his forehead, and he'd, he'd swipe it back with the back of his hand. That is oh. weird. That is, yeah. yeah. yeah that's I feel like he, it was... I I, it sounds like something somebody would do as a joke. But also, we talked to him, and I don't think he would do that as a joke. But I, I, I need to can. find out. Hey, Veronica, guess what? Michael's actually on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. What? Yeah, but also I want to talk to him because I have to find out if that was for real or not. Michael, are you there? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Michael. Michael, did you, you hear everything she said? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I heard all of it, yeah. You, you want to address any of it? Well, for starters, everybody likes that ringtone. You know, <laughs> after hearing her words, it sounds like, you know, everybody wants to be a meanie. I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't sound particularly <laughs> nice. No, Michael, it's not that I didn't like it. I'm not trying to be mean. I just sounded a little strange. <laughs> well, what song do you want me to play on my ringtone? I can change. I can, I can change my ringtone. <laughs> Sweet man. Michael, calm down. I don't want you to change, okay? I think it's great that you're your own person. I, I don't think anybody should change for anybody. Right. Well, the only reason I'm, I'm showing you all this stuff is because people told me that you like cats. So I, I figured you like cats. I bring the cats along. I have my cat ringtone. <laughs> you know, I mean, I thought you were a cat person. I mean, I, I do like cats. Um, I just got to be 100% honest, Michael. When I picture myself going out with someone, I just don't picture that person having four cats well you know you're happy to know that i don't have four cats i have six cats i only bought four of them with me because the other two don't like traveling in the car oh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think beyond, that's what she wanted to hear yeah, that is dude. beyond liking that's obsession you are obsessed with cats michael well i mean i i knew a lady that had 20 cats i mean i've got six so i i don't feel as i'm, I'm that obsessed at all i oh. feel as i'm kind of Pet friendly. Okay, well, what about <laughs> cleaning yourself like a cat? Yeah, Michael, I just, that part was kind of odd. Yeah. You're the only one in the restaurant licking your hands and stroking your hair in your head. <laughs> so gross. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, honestly, I didn't even know that I did that. I mean, what? I'm around my cats so much, I just kind of pick up their habits after a while. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so you don't you realize that you're doing hands? it. <laughs> I mean, did I did I did I do it a lot? I mean, how many times did I do it? I, I know I, mean, I did I lost, it. But... I lost count, Michael. It was just a steady stream of just hand licking and rubbing. Oh. Well, it was getting awfully hot in that restaurant, so I mean, I had to cool myself down somehow. <laughs> yeah, cool I, down. exactly. Cats get hot too. Oh man, Michael, I just wasn't comfortable with it, and I gotta be honest. I think most women would probably think the grooming thing was too much. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, I, I'm sorry if it, if you didn't like it. I mean, I, you know, my, my cats mean a lot to me, you know, and, you know, they're a part of me and I'm, I'm a part of them. And, you know, I, 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 I thought you liked cats and, you know, I, I apologize. Well, <laughs> Veronica, would you like to go out with Michael again on a second date? We will pay for it. You still haven't met Blinky and, and Perfect. I mean, you haven't, you haven't met them yet. You might change your mind. They always are at the house. Yeah, maybe if you meet the other cats, it might be better. I really appreciate it, but I'm just going to have to say no on this one. I just don't think I'm the best match for you. Aww. You're a dog person, aren't you? Oh, my God. That was maybe that's like it. an insult. That was an insult, wasn't it, Michael? He's mad. I'm sorry I lashed out like that. I didn't mean to, you know, insult you. And whenever people come at me, my, my claws come out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, there there it goes again. He's not well, Michael, I, life of a cat. I think you need to maybe you know what there might be some kind of cat dating website out oh, there for you. Yeah, you know where yeah. you can find someone who's just yeah. as into cats as you are. No, I went on those websites. Those people are weird. Oh <laughs> All right, well, good luck to you then, man. Brooke and Jubal in the morning. Text in at seven eight five nine two says I've never been happier to be a dog person. <laughs> it makes sense. If you missed today's second date update, this dude Michael oh, wanted to call Veronica, and he found out that she was a cat lover. It was a blind date, and he thought it'd be a good idea to bring his four cats along on the date in his car <laughs> with them. And one of the cats ended up getting sick and then throwing up all over the place. Mm -hmm. Well, when we called Veronica, she told us that Michael's obsession with cats was worse than we thought because he actually had the Aristocrat Aristocats theme song as his ringtone, <laughs> and he would groom himself during the date. Without he would, like lick his hands and then it. yep like mess with his hair <laughs> like he was cleaning himself like a cat and he didn't yeah. even he didn't know he was doing that he says oh. that he's been around cats so much because he has six of them that maybe he's just picked up a bad habit or something uh, <laughs> in the end Veronica said that she's not into cats the same yeah. way he is yeah I don't think anybody is you know, yeah we didn't ask the most important question. Which friend of hers set her up on that date? Oh, that's like, true, yeah. it was a blind date, and that's oh man, not a good friend. The friendship should be over. Wow, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what you think I should be dating. Remember, if you want to do a second date update, all you have to do is email the show, and we will call the person who didn't call you back. Move at ninety-two point five.